Google Generative AI Leader Exam Practice Questions with Explanations are available in the video for you to study. A global news agency wants to build a generative AI tool that can automatically summarize breaking news articles from multiple sources in real time. Which Google Cloud solution is best suited to help them generate accurate and fast text summaries? A. Document AI B. BigQuery C. Vertex AI Natural Language API D. Grounding with Google Search. The answer is D. Grounding with Google Search enhances generative AI outputs by connecting them with real-time, trusted, and up-to-date information, critical for breaking news scenarios. It ensures the generated summaries are accurate and based on the latest facts from live online sources. Document AI is better for structured document processing, e.g., invoices, forms. BigQuery is for data warehousing and analytics. Vertex AI Natural Language API provides natural language processing features like sentiment analysis and entity recognition, but not real-time grounding for current events. A company wants to develop an AI-driven education platform that adapts to each student's knowledge level. It should assess progress, suggest personalized content, and generate tailored exercises, while tracking learning outcomes. What is the most suitable AI solution for this use case? A. An AI-powered recommendation system for learning resources. B. A large language model fine-tuned on educational content. C. A learning management system, LMS. D. A customized learning agent. The answer is D. A customized learning agent uses generative AI to provide personalized and interactive learning experiences. It can dynamically assess knowledge, recommend tailored content, generate exercises, and track progress, covering all aspects of the solution described. A. Only addresses recommendation, not interaction or progress tracking. B. A fine-tuned LLM is a component, not a complete solution. C. An LMS manages courses and content but lacks eye-driven personalization or generation. A company is developing its generative AI strategy and wants to align with Google Cloud's best practices for success. According to Google's guidance, which strategic approach should they adopt? A. Rapid Implementation Strategy B. Bottom-up strategy. C. Multi-directional strategy. D. Top-down strategy. The answer is C. Google recommends a multi-directional strategy for generative AI success, which combines top-down vision and leadership with bottom-up innovation from teams. This approach ensures strategic alignment with business goals while encouraging experimentation and adoption across departments. A. Rapid implementation focuses on speed, not long-term strategy. B. Bottom-up lacks executive alignment and may lead to fragmented efforts. D. Top-down alone may miss innovation and feedback from users. A data science team wants a centralized platform to manage different versions of their ML models, track associated metadata, and streamline deployment to applications. Which Google Cloud service best meets these needs? A. Cloud Storage B. Model Registry C. BigQuery D. Vertex AI Pipelines The answer is B.
model registry in Vertex AI provides a structured way to store, organize, version, and manage ML models, including metadata and deployment options. It is purpose-built for operationalizing ML models across projects and teams. A. Cloud storage is a general-purpose storage, not ideal for model versioning or metadata. C. BigQuery is used for analytics, not model management. D. Vertex AI pipelines helps orchestrate ML workflows but not model version control or registry. A large e-commerce company manages a huge, frequently changing product catalog. Customers have difficulty finding what they need, and support agents waste time searching for detailed product information. Which Google Cloud solution can best improve search accuracy and efficiency for both customers and support teams? A. Vertex AI Conversation B. Vertex AI Natural Language API C. Pre-built RAG with Vertex AI Search D. Vertex AI Model Garden The answer is C. Pre-built retrieval augmented generation. RAG. With Vertex AI Search combines real-time data retrieval and generative AI to enhance search experiences. It allows users to get relevant, context-aware answers from vast content like a product catalog. Ideal for e-commerce and customer support scenarios. A. Vertex AI conversation is better for building chatbots or virtual agents. B. The natural language API handles language processing tasks but doesn't provide intelligent search. D. Vertex AI model garden is a model hub, not a solution for search and retrieval. The Chief Information Security Officer, CISO, team wants to use generative AI to automate security-related tasks such as summarizing case data, researching threats, and generating detection rules. Which type of agent is most appropriate for this use case? A. Security agent. B. Data agent. C. Code agent. D. Customer service agent. The answer is A. A security agent is designed to assist with cybersecurity operations. It uses generative AI to help automate tasks like threat analysis, case summarization, rule generation, and incident response, making it the right choice for the CISO office's goals. B. A data agent focuses on working with datasets, not security-specific tasks. C. A code agent helps write or refactor code, not specialized for security use cases. D. A customer service agent supports end-user interactions, not internal security operations. A company is building a conversational AI chatbot and wants it to respond naturally and accurately to user input. What should they do to improve the chatbot's understanding and effectiveness in responding to user prompts? A. Use prompt engineering techniques, like few-shot prompting, to provide the chatbot with examples of successful interactions. B. Limit the chatbot's training data to prevent it from learning irrelevant information. C. Use strict keyword matching to ensure that the chatbot only responds to specific commands. D. Lower model temperature setting to produce more consistent and predictable responses. The answer is a Prompt engineering especially few-shot prompting, helps guide the chatbot by showing it examples of high-quality interactions.
This improves its ability to understand user intent and generate more relevant, human-like responses. B. Limiting training data may reduce performance or context understanding. C. Keyword matching is too rigid and reduces conversational naturalness. D. Lowering temperature improves consistency, but doesn't teach the model how to respond better, it just controls randomness. A company's development team wants to quickly launch generative AI solutions on Google Cloud but has limited experience with AI development. Which Google Cloud feature will most help them get started and accelerate their time to value? A. Google Cloud's pre-trained models and low and no-code AI tools and services. B. Google Cloud's collaborative AI community and support forums connect developers with AI experts. C. Google Cloud's comprehensive training materials and tutorials to help developers. D. Google Cloud's focus on continuous improvement provides access to the latest AI tools, features, and best practices. The answer is a pre-trained models and low, no-code tools on Google Cloud, like Vertex AI Studio and Generative AI Studio, allow teams with little AI expertise to quickly build and deploy general AI solutions without needing to train models from scratch. This greatly speeds up development and adoption. B. Community support helps but isn't a core productivity accelerator. C. Training is valuable but doesn't directly build or deploy solutions. D. Continuous improvement is long-term. The team needs quick start tools now. A company wants to support its live customer service agents by providing real-time guidance, relevant suggestions, and workflow streamlining without fully automating the customer interaction. Which Google Customer Engagement Suite component is best for this goal? A. Agent Assist B. Conversational Agents C. Conversational Insights D. Google Cloud Contact Center as a Service The answer is A. Agent Assist uses generative AI to provide real-time recommendations, summaries, and helpful prompts to human agents during live support conversations. It improves agent productivity and customer satisfaction without replacing human interaction. B. Conversational agents are fully automated bots, not human assist tools. C. Conversational Insights provides analytics, not in-the-moment support. D. Contact Center as a Service. CCAAS is a full platform. Agent Assist is the specific tool needed here. A regulated financial institution plans to use Gemini as the main decision engine for a loan approval system that must strictly approve or reject applications based on fixed rules. Why is Gemini not suitable for this use case? A. Gemini cannot integrate with required financial databases. B. Gemini is not equipped to handle structured numerical data for financial assessments. C. Gemini is designed for flexible content generation and inference, not rigid rule-based decisions. D. Gemini deployment for this scenario would be too expensive and complex. The answer is C. Gemini. A generative AI model excels at creative, flexible tasks like language generation and inference but is not intended for deterministic, rule-based decision-making required in regulated environments such as loan approvals.
Such systems typically require strict logic and auditability that rule engines or traditional software provide better. A. Integration isn't the main issue. B. Gemini can handle numeric data but is not ideal for strict rule enforcement. D. Cost, complexity isn't the key limitation here.